Hey, what's going on guys? Adam here and welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know on how to set up your Ledger Nano X as well as how to use it to get the most value out of it that you can. And as you can tell by the length, this is a full comprehensive guide. So feel free to use the timestamps down below to skip to the part that you need. So let's jump right into it. The Ledger Nano X is a hardware wallet, which is one of the safest ways to store your cryptocurrency. They keep your private keys safe on the device away from hackers and it is offline, so no one can access it through the internet or anything like that. So with that said, pretty much the only way someone can steal your crypto is if they get their grubby hands on your seed phrase or the physical device itself. So friendly reminder, no matter what wallet you use, to never ever tell your seed phrase to anyone under any circumstance, because that is what allows them to steal your assets. And also don't link your wallets on any website that you don't trust. There are tons of fake websites out there, so if you are going to do it, make sure it is the one that you are looking for. So some background on the company, Ledger was founded in 2014 and have since sold over 3 million devices and they've grown to be one of the most trusted brands for hardware wallets. So the Ledger Nano X supports 1800 cryptocurrencies and counting like Bitcoin and Ethereum, and you can use 100 different crypto at once on this thing. They also integrate with software wallets like MetaMask for even more supported crypto. And with this, you can actually use decentralized applications or dApps or dApps, however you want to say it, uh, while maintaining that high level of security. On top of this, Ledger has a desktop and a mobile app for managing your wallets. I will link it in the description. Uh, it's also in the sheets whenever you open the box, but just be very, very careful where you download it from. Make sure that it is from the official Ledger website, which is ledger.com. The Ledger Nano X even has Bluetooth integration to both iPhone and Android, so you can connect to your phone and take it on the go. Just for comparison, they made a similar product to the X called the Nano S. Uh, which has three major differences. So first, both support the similar list of crypto, but in some cases, the S supports crypto that the X does not and vice versa. So an example of this is the Harmony One token, which is only supported by the S and not the X. So definitely check on their website, on Ledger's website, which products support the crypto that you wanna have. So that's the first difference between the two. The next big difference is that you can only store about three to six different crypto at once on the S compared to about 100 on the X. So if you have a bunch of different crypto that you're using, you probably wanna stick with the X, otherwise the S probably won't be able to handle it. The last big difference is the S only works when plugged into your computer or to your Android phone using the charger, which looks a little something like this. So, you know, it's a little clunky. Uh, there's no Bluetooth on this thing like there is on the X, so it's not quite as mobile. So if you're using a bunch of different cryptocurrencies at once, or you want a wallet that you can use on the go, or if you have an iPhone, you'll probably want the X. So if you do want to stick with the X, then you're in the right place. If you're using the S, no worries. I will be posting a video on how to set this guy up later, but you know, honestly, they're pretty similar with the setup. The only difference is just honestly how the buttons look. So, you know, you can follow the exact same steps that I show you for this and it'll work for this. All right, so first off, let's see what's in the box. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring my camera over here. So here's what the box looks like when you first get it. There's gonna be some plastic wrap over it, but you know, you just take that off. Then what you do is you slide it out of this sleeve that's here. So there you go, it's on the side. Then you got this guy right here. So then you just, you take off the top part of it, leave the bottom part, and you flip this over. Yeah, there you go. There's your download link. Only go to ledger.com. Do not go anywhere else or download it from anywhere else. Now, if we go over here, this is the actual Nano X itself. So there's your ledger symbol and it says uh, Virus in numerous on the back. I think that's like strength in numbers or something. <laughs> I could be wrong. So next up, let's take this out. So next up, you just have some more documents. So basically what you got in here is a user guide, you have your uh, recovery phrase cards that you can write them down on, uh, you got some stickers, and then you got some more legal stuff. Grab one of these and set these aside because we'll use these in a sec. And finally, you have the charger. So this is not necessary, as I mentioned, uh, because this does have battery and Bluetooth, so you can take it on the go with you. Uh, but you know, you will need this to charge and also to sync it up to your laptop. And finally, if we take this off, you have your little keychain so that you can put it on your wallet or 
or actual keys or something like that. So that is what's in the box. All right, so let's go ahead and set this up as a brand new device. So obviously you wanna open the box up and then charge it for a little bit, that way it has a little bit of battery. All right, so step one, grab your Ledger Nano. <laughs> First get it, Ledger Nano likes, Patrick, that's a pickle. Yes. All right, so here is the Ledger Nano X. So we're gonna go ahead and unsheath this. If it's not on, you can hit the black button. So it just gives you a little welcome page. So it says, welcome to the Ledger Nano X. Press the right button, tells you where to download the app from. Again, make sure that it is from ledger.com and nowhere else. Uh, then you just use these buttons. This is usually like forward, this is back, or you know, right, left. Um, and then you press both buttons to select. And then at any time on the home screen, you can just hold these down for like two seconds and that will bring up the basically like settings page. You can start the Ledger Live app. You won't need it because I'm gonna walk you through everything. Um, and then if we hit right one more, we're going to set this up as a new device. So go ahead and double click here. And then you just choose a pin with four to eight digits. So double click again. And we're gonna go ahead and enter a pin. So you can cycle through numbers like this. You can see that uh, the right one goes up and the left one goes down. All right, so I just entered my first digit and just a heads up, if you do make a mistake in this and you wanna delete a digit, there actually is a character for that. Once you've entered in your first one, you'll see a backspace here. So you can go ahead and delete that. So let's go ahead and enter one for real. And once you've entered it in the first time, now you're gonna to wanna to confirm it. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so now it's gonna tell you to write down your recovery phrase. So this is where you want to grab one of these cards that I showed you earlier. Um, you don't have to use this, but you know you can use any, any piece of paper or any, anything that you can keep track of. So let's go ahead and double click. All right, so your device will generate 24 words, uh, and these are your recovery phrases. So this is your seed phrase that everyone tells you uh, not to share with other people. And again, if you lose this, if anyone else knows this besides you, go get a new one, generate a new one. All right, so let's hit right. Uh, again, it's your only backup. Make sure that you hang on to this. Make sure that you always have access to it. Write it down on the sheet and press both buttons to continue. All right, so then you'll see a word here. So like this word is gate. So then you want to what you want to do is you'll just take a pen and you'll write gate for the first word right here. Then you will hit the right arrow, go to the second one, and then second one is picnic. So go picnic, and that will be your second word. So you're gonna do that 24 times. I know it's a little tedious, but you know, this is, this is how the world of crypto works. <laughs> so make sure that it is safe from other people seeing it and then make sure that it is physically safe from damage as well. All right, so let's go ahead and fast forward to the end of that. We'll pretend like I have written all of these down. All right, so now that we've hit the end of this, uh, it says press left to verify your 24 words. Just go back over it one more time just to make sure. Uh, and then once you've done that, go ahead and hit both buttons. So now we are going to confirm the recovery phrase. So again, double click. We're going to cycle through all of the different words that were shown to us. So if we just you know, click a couple times, okay, there we go, there's gate, that was our first word. So then you hit that and then you just double click. So now we're onto the second word. So then you just repeat that 24 times for all of your uh, recovery phrase and then you will be in the app. So I will go ahead and see you on the other side. All right, so now let's go ahead and go over if this is not your first time setting this up and you want to recover from one of your seed phrases. So just a heads up, this process kind of sucks. It's really long and tedious, so you only want to do this if you absolutely have to, like if you're doing this a million times to catch your every step for a YouTube video. <laughs> but you guys are totally worth it. You really don't want to mess this up at any point since you'll have to do it all over again, so I highly recommend you just set 10 to 20 minutes aside just to pay attention and knock it out. You should probably do that for anything you do with this ledger, but especially this part. So now in the Ledger Nano, we're going to go through the same process that we did for setup. Uh, and of course, if you've already done this and you have a seed phrase, you can just do it here. So let's do restore from recovery phrase. Now we're gonna go ahead and set the pin again. So I will see on the other side of that. Now we are going to enter the recovery phrase. So go ahead and double click. It's gonna say select the number of words written on your recovery sheet. If you set up the Ledger Nano, uh, it's going to be 24. Now you can use other wallets that you have previously set up. Like, you know, if you have like Coinbase wallet or MetaMask, you can use those. If you use those recovery phrases, that kind of defeats the purpose of getting a hardware wallet. So I recommend 
just using the seed phrases that you only get from your Ledger Nanos. If you did do it that way, you're gonna use 24 words. All right, so now this is the tedious part. It's gonna ask you to enter in those words one by one, uh, and you can only type in one letter at a time. So it'll usually ask you to do the first three letters for each word. So uh, go ahead and do that for everything that you wrote on here, on your seed phrase, wherever you have that. And uh, I'll show you how to do it real quick. All right, so let's go ahead and start typing in the words. So let's, let's sure, let's just start with K, uh, E, and then you'll see you typed in two letters and it will comes up with all the different words that you can possibly have. Uh, so let's just do key. So that's your first word. So now you're gonna do that for your second word. So, okay, yeah, sure, let's do S, A, and sand. Okay, yeah, so there you go, sand, that's it. Uh, so then, yeah, you can hit sand. Um, so then third word, okay, let's go, sure, let's go H, A, B, all right, so you got habit, that's it. So you're gonna do this for each of your 24 words and you could probably see at this point why it's so tedious. If you appreciate me doing it a bunch of times to get the process down, then hit that subscribe button and you know, like button's down there too, so you might as well hit it while you're down there. So after you've done this, you're back into your ledger and you can reconnect to it. And I'll show you how to connect to it in your desktop app as well as your mobile app and then also into MetaMask. All right, so let's go ahead and set this up on Ledger Live Desktop. Now make sure you got this from the Ledger website again. Uh, there will be links down below and also on the card that you got with your Nano X. And also I highly recommend doing this before you set it up on your mobile app. Just trust me, it's gonna be a lot easier. It's gonna be less things to do. All right, so let's head over to the desktop app. So go ahead and let's hit get started and agree to the terms and services and enter the Ledger app. So we're gonna be setting up the Nano X. So if this is your first time using the Nano X, you can click on that. Otherwise, you can click on just connect to your Nano X. These all lead to the same place, so it doesn't really matter which one you click, but if, you, if it's your first time, I recommend just clicking set up a new Nano X. So this just walks you through how the Nano X works. Just tells you a little bit about what the capabilities are. So you can click through these uh, when you go do it yourself, um, but I'm just gonna skip through this. So let's go ahead and just click, let's do this. So if you've been following the video, you've already done this, so you can just skip through it. Um, but I do recommend just reading through these just to make sure that you're doing everything right. So just keep track of your pin, pin code. Do not tell that to anyone. Keep track of your recovery phrase. Do not tell that to anyone, but and always make sure that you have it. Again, do not share this with anyone. So then they're gonna give you a short quiz. So let's go ahead and take the quiz. All right, so as a Ledger user, my crypto is stored on my Nano or on the blockchain. So the answer here is on the blockchain, right? Nothing is ever stored on the device itself besides your public and private keys, which are literally just a random string of numbers and letters. All right, so next question. If my recovery phrase is no longer secure or private, and again, you probably know the answer to this already because I've kind of drilled it into your heads. Your crypto is no longer safe and you need to transfer them to a secure place. So if someone else has your recovery phrase, consider this compromised and move it somewhere else. There you go. Anyone who has your recovery phrase can steal your assets. We already know that <laughs> at this point. All right, so next question. When I connect my Nano to the Ledger app, my private key is still offline or briefly connected to the internet. So in this case, it's still offline. That is the entire point of a hardware wallet is that your private keys never leave this device. They always stay here and that no one from the internet can access it. They can only access this through the physical device itself. All right, so we passed the quiz. So let's go ahead and finish this. It says we're already a pro, good stuff and we're ready to use it. So go ahead and click next step and it's going to now verify whether your Nano is genuine. If it's not genuine, that means someone's tampering with it. Uh, maybe it's sending the seed phrase to someone or the you know, private keys. So this is just gonna check and make sure that it has not been tampered with. So let's go check my Nano. Uh, now it's asking us to connect and unlock the device. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, so it is connected to my laptop here through the cable and I'm just gonna enter in my pin real quick and give it a sec. All right, here we go. Allow ledger manager on your device. So we're just gonna hit both the buttons here. Enabling that, good. It's like I picked that up. All right, all good. Your Nano X is genuine and we're ready to use Ledger Live. So let's go ahead and click continue. 
All right, so now we are in Ledger Live. So the first thing that you should do before you add anything is make sure that your firmware is up to date. So if we go into Manager, if this is your first time doing this, you will probably see this update firmware. So go ahead and click update firmware. It's gonna download it. Um, yeah, I'd obviously make sure that you have your recovery phrase. Uh, and then go ahead and click that and then click continue. So it's going to download the update and put it onto your ledger. I'm just going on the device. I'm hitting the silver button twice, uh, going over to the identifier string, make sure that is the same as what's displayed on the screen right now. Hit the silver button a couple more times till you hit perform update and then go ahead and hit both buttons. All right, now it is updating in bootloader mode. So we'll just wait for that to finish. Okay, so now that that is done, let's go ahead and enter the pin in again. All right, and now we are back in. So what this firmware does is it wipes your entire device, not of the seed phrases or anything like that or any of the pi uh, private keys that you need. It just gets rid of all the apps and resets it basically. So this is why you wanna do it first so that you don't install all of your apps and then immediately erase it, right? All right, so now let's go and reinstall some apps on the device. And then you can go in here and select, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Binance, Smart Chain, you know, whatever apps that you wanna be using with the different cryptocurrencies that you have, uh, go ahead and download these now. So these will put them on your device. So as you can see, it's downloading and installing them for me right now. All right, so now everything that I want Ledger is Nano, installed like onto the Ledger Nano. So let's go ahead and set this up with the live mobile app. All right, so now that we have all of the apps that we want on here, let's go ahead and add some accounts. So you'll see here under Bitcoin, you can just hit add account and it will sync with your device. So then you now you need to open up the app on the device and it auto opens it. So just click both buttons at the same time. And there we go. So now we have a new account. We're gonna just call it Bitcoin one. You can come in here and change it to like Bitcoin main or something. You can name it whatever you want. Go ahead and click add account and you'll see that it is added to the ledger app. Now, then you just hit done. So now if you go over to accounts, there you go. There is your Bitcoin wallet. Now, in order to see it, you can come in here and if you wanna see your address, you just hit receive. Uh, then, you know, you continue, hit th hit the device, go through the application and there is my address. So then what you can do is confirm it on here uh, you'll see it on the Nano screen as well. Then you just hit the silver button on the Nano and then hit approve. Uh, and then that will basically guarantee that you have the right address when you copy paste it. All right, so let's go ahead and hit done. So you can repeat this as many times as you want uh, for all of the other cryptocurrencies that you added. And you know, if you wanna remove this, you can actually go ahead and hit, I think it's edit and then delete. So deleting accounts will not affect your crypto assets and existing accounts can always be added again. So when you delete an account from the app, it does not remove it from the device itself. It just removes it from view of the app. You will always have access to that account as long as you have access to this device, right? So you can delete this and I'll show you right here. So confirm and then you can just add that account back. So you just do Bitcoin continue we're going to call it bitcoin one and then if you hit add account you'll see it's successfully done so let's go back into that account and look at the address again so receive and continue and there you go i'll put a side by side up but that address is the exact same as the other address from before i removed the app so you'll always have access no matter what you do if you remove the accounts on the actual apps so now let's talk about setting up the ledger live app on your smartphone so if this is not your first time pairing it to your phone, you'll need to go into your phone's Bluetooth settings. And once you're in here, you'll see the Nano, uh, and then just go ahead and forget this device. All right, now if we head back into the Ledger Live, if you want a fresh install, you might also need to delete and re-download the mobile app. Just make sure that it is the official one. If this is your first time doing it, you're good. Don't worry about any of that stuff. <laughs> All right, so let's hit get started. We already read the terms and services, privacy policy, enter Ledger app, select a device. So we're gonna do Nano X. And let's go ahead and click sync crypto from your desktop app. This is going to save you a ton of time. So hit that. It's gonna tell you basically what to do. And you, now you wanna say, I'm ready to scan. You can do the setup from your phone, but I had a lot of trouble with it. So I recommend doing it on your desktop and then using this sync feature. So then let's go into the computer, go into the settings and do accounts. 
and then just hit export accounts here. So this will show you a QR code that you can then scan with your phone, which will automatically sync all of those accounts that you added onto your phone. So you don't have to go in and add them manually. So I'll go ahead and do that now and just scan it. If you see here on the phone, you'll see that that Bitcoin one account was added. So let's go ahead and import. And it says all set open ledger live. Cool. So here we are, let's go ahead and into accounts and boom, there we go. Now, if you update any accounts on the desktop app, you're gonna have to do this same process to get it back onto your phone. So for example, if I add an Ethereum account, so I'm gonna go ahead and add one right now. All right, let me hit add account and done. Okay, so now you see that we have Ethereum in here. And if we try and do the swipe update on the phone, you'll see that it doesn't automatically add the Ethereum onto your phone. That is because there is no central account. Uh, so there's no syncing between these devices uh, aside from doing that QR code thing. So if we just did that again, you'd see it pop up on here. So now we have all of the accounts on to the phone. So let's go ahead and try and manage the device itself. So if we hit Nano X, start Nano X setup. Then we just want to connect to the Nano. Let's pair my Nano, add new Ledger Nano. So it's gonna look for devices. If it doesn't pick it up, you might just need to reboot the Nano X. So it's not picking it up for me, so I'm actually just gonna go ahead and do that. So to do that, you just hold both buttons at once. That'll take you into the, uh, the manager. Press the black button twice and hit power off, and then hit both buttons again to confirm. Then you enter your pin, and now it's going to reboot. All right, so now that it has rebooted, I unlocked it with the pin. Let's go ahead and try that again. There we go, okay. So the Nano pops up, so go ahead and click on that. It's going to show you a code. Go ahead and hit pair on the phone, and then just make sure that the code matches uh, what is on the Nano. So that matches, and then we just go ahead and confirm pairing here, and give it a sec on the phone. It's going to do the authentication check to make sure that it is legit. Uh, go ahead and allow the, man the ledger manager. So just hit the both buttons twice and there we go. Pairing is successful and you can see that the device is genuine. So let's click continue. Uh, now we can open the Ledger Live app. All right, so now let's talk about how to actually use this with MetaMask to unlock even more potential from your Ledger Nano X. Just make sure that you have this unlocked. You probably already have it if you've been following along. Do that and then also on your desktop app, Go ahead and add an Ethereum account. You'll see that I have added it here. So let's go ahead and open a new Chrome window. And again, make sure that your MetaMask, that you get this directly from MetaMask itself. Make sure it's the official app and not a you know tampered or scam version of it. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up. Uh, in the app itself, let's go ahead and open that. It's a little bit easier to do things. So just go to expand view. This will take you to the actual MetaMask uh, tab. So you'll see here, Here's my main account and I'll go in and you'll see my ledger and you'll see the hardware here. You see my ledger one and my ledger two for my Ethereum address. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete these and I'll show you how to re-add them. And I'll show you that again, just because you delete your accounts, it doesn't actually mean you're deleting everything that you're holding in there. So you can remove and add these as you will. All right, so first things first, we're gonna need to set this up real quick. There is a setting that you should turn on that just makes it a very seamless integration. So let's go ahead and hit settings. Let's go to advanced, go scroll all the way down to the bottom and it says use Ledger Live. So you wanna make sure that this is on. If it's already on, uh, just toggle it off and then toggle it back on again just to make sure that it picks this up. So once we've done that, we're good to go. So now we wanna scroll back up to the top and you wanna hit this profile picture looking thing right here and then you wanna hit connect hardware wallet. So this will come up with this screen. Obviously we're doing Ledger. Uh, this says download the Ledger live app. Obviously we've already done that and plug it in. Obviously I've already done that too. So let's hit continue. So this will open a link that takes you back to your Ledger live desktop app. Um, so go ahead and hit open right here. And then it will access your Ledger device from here. So go ahead, if, it let, if it's locked, enter your PIN. Then it's gonna ask you to open the Ethereum app. So go ahead and double click. So now it's gonna open a bridge. All right, so now it says Ethereum bridge is open. So now go back into the browser. So here you can see the one account that I already added. And here is the other account that I already added. You can see I already have Ethereum on here. 
So again, if you remove accounts from this, you can always add them back. They do not disappear forever. So then you just select the addresses that you want. You can add as many as you want. And these are basically pre-programmed into your Ledger device. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add two. So let's go ahead and click this and then click unlock. And there you go. You will see if you click this to view your accounts, you will see that the ledgers are now in here with the hardware wallets. So as far as what you can do with your MetaMask once you have your ledger connected to it, is you can use the ledger to sign your transactions. So basically you can have it so that in order to do any transaction on MetaMask, you have to have this as well. So this basically adds the security of a you know hardware wallet or a cold wallet to your hot wallet or software wallet like MetaMask. So let's go ahead and send some funds over. I'm about to burn like 20 bucks on gas fees, but y'all are worth it. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and send transfer between my accounts. So this, this account right here that I'm sending from is not backed by this ledger. So you'll see what happens here. Let's just hit ledger one and send. So let's send like 40 bucks of Ethereum. So you hit next. Gas fees, 13 bucks. And so my total is gonna be about 50 bucks. So let's go ahead and hit confirm. All right, and now you'll see that it is pending. So give it a sec, we'll let it go through. All right, and there we go. Transaction has completed and you'll see that it, it took out that, uh, you know, like 50-ish dollars uh, worth of Ethereum. And if we open the accounts again, if we go into Ledger, you'll see that I now have $44 worth of Ethereum. So if we go over here, now let's send it back. So this is this is the cool part. This is what it's gonna look like whether you're interacting with something like Uniswap or if you're just transferring money back and forth. So let's hit send. So let's do transfer between my accounts and let's send this back to the main account. And again, let's do like, I don't know, $20 worth of Ethereum. And then we'll hit next. And then you'll see uh, this little warning down here. So it says prior to clicking confirm, Enable the use uh, of Ledger Live, which we've already done. Open and unlock the Ledger app, which we've already done. And then plug in your Ledger device and select the Ethereum app. So we have done that. Let's go ahead and hit confirm. So now that you see that it's spinning here, so let's go ahead and check out on the Ledger Nano. So you see review transaction here. So go ahead and hit the silver button. You'll see the amount, Ledger yep, Nano that looks, looks right. You'll see the address. Make sure that is right as well. There's your fees. And then what you can do is hit send and accept or you can reject it. Uh, so we're gonna send and accept here. And then as soon as I hit this, you will see what happens on the MetaMask wallet. So now we have a pending transaction. And if we give it a sec, okay, there we go. You'll see that my transaction went through again. Uh, I was, you know, took out the, you know, 30-ish dollars that it was to send it. And if we go back to the main account, you'll see that I have received it there. So really powerful stuff here. This can be used to secure your hot wallets, which is a very important functionality in my opinion. I think this is like one of the best use cases for the Ledger Nano. So that's it. This is everything that you need to know about the Ledger Nano X. Hopefully this helps you get the most value you can out of it. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy.